All right, Pisces, let's get into your reading. So your overall energy starting off with a little bit of mixed emotions here. <laughs> um, we have orphaned, fork in the road, and happy, happy. So you could be feeling a little bit stuck here between maybe releasing the past and going towards the future. Um, you might be feeling left out in the cold, breadcrumbed, left hanging, but I feel like there's something new coming along for you that is going to make you very happy. I feel like it is something that's fated and destined. You might be getting a message from this person sometime soon here, Pisces, um, but I feel like it is a, a transformation happening uh, for you. So your person here has time to go. Uh, they could have walked away from you and now you're feeling abandoned or this could be somebody new that had to walk away from another connection. And the reason why I'm saying that, um, we have loyal heart and higher power, but we also have unfinished symphony with a new beginning here too. So I'm kind of thinking here, Pisces, that this is somebody who maybe has walked away from you and now you're feeling left out, abandoned but I think they're coming back. I feel like this is actually meant to be something divinely guided by the universe. It's faded, it's destined. I think it's just a temporary break. I really do, but let's get into it. Uh, Pisces, also keep in mind when I say your person's energy, it can be flip-flopped and reversed, okay? So it could be your energy, not theirs. Feel free to flip it. All right, a Pisces person's current energies, what's going on? Yeah. Sadness, loss, regret, remorse, five of cups, the hanged man. They've had a change in perspective here. Six of wands. Now they're looking for victory and success. They've had a change of heart, change in perspective. Now they have clarity. Now they see. There's definitely something here, Pisces, that's divinely guided. This is not over. Yep. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. They want a stable new beginning. This could be somebody from the past past too. You guys, this, it doesn't necessarily mean it's somebody where you broke up yesterday. It could, could have been years ago. I don't know. Take it how it resonates, okay? The Shadow Side, the Devil card, Capricorn Energy, the Fool, Aries Energy. Yeah, there could have been some toxicity tied to this connection at some point or with this person. Whether that's control, abandonment issues, drinking, partying, working, shopping, spending money, just unstable, anything like that um, in excess, you know. Uh, what is this fool here? What is this leap of faith? Why is the fool here for Pisces person? Why is the fool here? Uh, King of Cups, Scorpionic energy. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. That could be your energy, Pisces. This person could be taking a leap of faith towards you. Uh, could be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Doesn't have to be. They could have cut you off. And now they're realizing what they've lost. I feel like they want to come back and have this Ten of Cups with you and see some kind of transformation. Because now... Sleepless nights, high anxiety, replaying events over in their head. They're stressed out because they know that they've lost you and they made a mistake. And now they're coming back, possibly with an apology, a love offer, gesture. I feel like they're watching you on social media, online, seeing what you're up to, trying to get information and how to come back to you, how to reach out to you. You're going to get a message of some sort, a text, something. All right, let's see... What is blocking or what was blocking this connection for Pisces? What was blocking this? Six of Swords, Ace of Wands. Things were stuck in very choppy waters. You, you could have lost passion, desire for this person. Maybe you thought the chemistry was off. There, there was something off here. The spark burned out. Something like that. Let's see, what else? Blockages, blockages. This person could have left thinking it was, yeah, they walked away. Thinking possibly that there was something better. The grass was greener and it wasn't. Right, let's see, what else? 
Cancerian energy. There's that fool. Yep, the Emperor Aries energy. Seven of Pentacles. This person thought the grass was greener. Yep, 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 yep. They took a leap in the wrong direction. Could have been another water sign again. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It could have been an Aries or this person. <sighs> took a leap of faith. Could be somebody they've worked with, met at work had like a third party side thing going on and you found out about it for some of you. It fed their ego. It made them feel better about themselves or whatever. It made them feel wanted. There was passion, desire, attraction. But man, they, uh, they're seeing now, Pisces, they made a mistake. They, they made a mistake. They could have felt like bored. I'm just saying, you could have too. All right, take it how it resonates. I'm just saying what I see here, so don't shoot the messenger. Um, they could have been bored. Or had some kind of fear of rejection or something. Uh, let's see, how does this person truly feel about you, Pisces? How do they truly feel about you? Seven of Cups. Confusion, five of wands, arguments, competition, drama, five of cups, sadness, loss, regret, remorse. So they're feeling this pain now because they know that they created drama, competition, confusion, treated you maybe like an option or kept their options open. Um, strength, Leo energy. They're trying to find that strength and courage to reach out to you, Seven of Swords, because they were sneaky towards you. They were sneaky. What else? Now how do they feel? They created a burden. They want to put that burden down and balance the scales here. I feel like it's another water sign, you guys. It, it could be anybody. It could be anybody. There could have been like jealousy, possessiveness, things like that going on. They want to balance the scales. They're still holding on to you. I feel like they want to come back now and like give you that loyal heart, show you loyalty. I, it might make you happy. Something here is going to make you happy about this connection, about this situation. There is something that's going to make you happy. And I feel like it's a new beginning. And you guys are probably gonna yell at me like, nope, we don't take, we don't take them back, we don't forgive, they they went too far, they messed things up. Could be true for some of you. Could be. I'm not saying you're going to, and definitely use your own discernment, make your own decisions. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just saying this person wants to come back and balance the scales. I feel like they're gonna come to you with an apology. Can we go to lunch, dinner, drinks, something like that? Because now they're feeling it. Now they're feeling it. But let's see, potential outcome for Pisces and this person. Keep in mind, Pisces, that you have free will. So do they, so it could change, but this is how the energy is flowing, all right? Potential outcome. Three of Pentacles. That wanted to come out um, how they felt about you. That's, you know, Working together, creating, building, wanting the same future, getting on the same page. Yeah, there's a lot of stress. They want to heal this. They want to move things into calmer waters after they walked away. They could have been stuck in another connection, Pisces. They could have been stuck in, an, in something else, and that's why they couldn't fully come towards you. And you may have, you know, said, all right, peace out. Uh, I deserve better, you know. They're not done. They want to heal this. Let's see. What else? Potential outcome. Ace of Swords. I came out in the reverse, though. Why? Yeah, see, you may have trust issues with this person now, Pisces. You may not believe what they say. So you, you, you could end up holding back from this person, but they're coming back to heal this commitment. 
victory and success. I feel like they're going to put in the work and effort now. If they did step out, possibly with somebody that they worked with, they're going to end that. They are. Well, their energy says they are. It could even be like um, they, they went back to an ex, someone maybe they had children with. For some of you. Or they're leaving that situation to be with you. I don't know. They want to level this up. They want to put in work and effort. They want to heal this because they do want victory and success with you. But can you forgive them? Are they going to change? Is this real? Is this, you know? It is divinely guided though, you guys. There could have been a lesson here. Maybe this person needed to learn something. All right. Uh, let's see. Obstacles. Biggest obstacle for Pisces. Biggest obstacle for Pisces in this connection to overcome the creator. Divinely guided. Meant to be. Follow your intuition on this. Past lives. Soulmate connection. Yeah, this, this connection must have felt really, really strong between the two of you, like that magnetic pull, that attraction, all of that. Like you can't be apart from each other. Like you still feel each other even when you are apart. You guys could be dreaming about each other or communicating in the 5D um, mind. They could have played mind games with you though. I definitely saw that here. Could have been a lot of mind games going on. All right, let's see what else for Pisces. What else, what else do we have for Pisces? Mirroring, reflection, twin, wholeness, synchronicity abounds. Look for signs and synchronicities, but you guys could have been mirroring each other. Yeah, unawakened, unaware, 3D, ego, darkness, your twin flame is not ready yet. They're gonna be, they're, they're awakening. They're awakening to this. Beliefs, similar clashing belief systems can bring you together or keep you apart. Fertility, fresh ideas, manifest growth, plant your seeds, receive. Open-minded, abundant, ready. It's your time to receive and blessings. So see, that's what I'm saying. There's something here that's going to make you very happy. And I feel like it could be healing with this person. If it's not, you may cut them off and maybe there's somebody new coming towards you. All right. What else? What else? I wish I could take back my words. Yeah. What else for Pisces? What else for Pisces? I look for you everywhere. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I feel like this person sees your face or dreams about you. They're, they're regretting things. We need to let each other go. So that could be you. Or at that time you needed to. This person needed to walk away at that time, you know? I feel like there was a lesson here. The timing just wasn't right for us. Yep. And that's why I started off saying, uh, Pisces, this person could be someone from the past past that's now coming back um, where the timing wasn't right. There's something to do with divine timing here. I lost myself for a little while. Mm -hmm. I regret lying to you. I can't stop thinking about you. This person definitely is feeling it now, Pisces. They're feeling it. All right, I'm going to pull some letters. Could be first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. And if their first and last name have the same letter, feel free to double it because I only have one of each. All right. N, V, G, M, P, H, S, J, L, Y, Z, F. So N, V, G, H, M, P, S, Y, J, L, F. Z. All right, going to get some numbers. This could be birthday, anniversary, date of significance, an angel number, um, an age, number of days, months, weeks, years. Tell you how it resonates, okay? Let's see. We have 
nine nine twelve and four look up the angel numbers nine nine Let's see if we have any others for you here no not really nothing else showing up um and then nine again all right so it could be the fourth the ninth the twelfth of any month it could be april september or uh, december and i have four again so 44 and two so the month of february um the second of any month fourth ninth twelfth february april september december uh 24 42 92 take it how it resonates okay all right zodiac signs could be sun signs strong placements in their chart could happen during that season so like pisces season for instance okay let's see we have sagittarius scorpio virgo virgo Leo. Um, so Sagittarius, Virgo, Scorpio, Leo. All right. Um, Pisces, that is what I have for you this week.